Welcome back sports fans, I'm Paul on the ball and we have rolled across to horse racing. Hope all you horse racing enthusiasts are plugged in and listening. If not, call a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that coming up now is that pal of ours, my pal Sean. Have a look at this race last weekend. The bus and the running. Excellent start for Starship Titan. Moving well on the outside as roll up. And your early trailer is going to be my pal Sean. So as they exit the back stretch, that is roll up, opening up by a half, a length in the middle of the turn. Starship Titan is right there. And your trailer approximately two and a half off of your leaders are my pal Sean. So as they come down the lane for the first time when it means nothing, that is roll up leading by a long neck. Running in second position in alongside the rail under a tight hole is Starship Titan. And right there in striking position is my pal Shaw. They ran the opening quarter in 23 and 1. It's a tight bunch, approximately two and a half from front to back. That is rolled up now, opening up by a length. Running in second position is Starship Titan. Right there in striking position is my pal Shaw. So as they head up the back stretch, that is roll up, trying to roll out. And now starting to move on the outside is my pal Sean. They ran the half in 49 and 4. And my pal Sean means business. Opens up by two. At the top of the turn, it is my pal Sean. And down the stretch they come. My pal Sean opens up by two and a half. Roll up running second. And my pal Sean gone clear like Windex. Crushing the field by seven and a half at least. Roll up second, Starship Titan. Uh, I'm not too sure about uh, how he's clean like Windex. <laughs> but we have along with us to talk a bit about how clean he is like Windex is. The man who knows horse racing, I think the only person I know that knows it better than him is probably Roy Pickle Pickle. I'm sure he wouldn't, I'm sure he wouldn't be minding being second to Roy. It's Mr. Akeem Donovan. Good evening, Akeem. Hey, Paul. Good night, good night. I'm sure he wouldn't mind coming second to Pickle. No, man. That's that's the boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go against the boss. Listen, Akeem, you know, our pal Sean. Yeah. Let's talk a bit about this horse. Yeah. Um, he, he he had some hype when he came and he, he lived up to it. They're definitely plain and simple, he living up to it. Well, I'm hoping the producer a little later on gets to pull the interview that I did with, 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 with Alex Lake. Of course, uh, for those of you are wondering, this horse is owned by Family Affair mm -hmm. and the Lake family, owned and trained by Alex. You know, Alex trains a lot of his own horses, yes, yes. which is pretty special in, 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 in its own right. And... Uh, they, when the horse first came, they told people the horse was special. The horse came with some really good credentials, yeah, yeah. as you would know, Akim, because yeah. you do this. And um, since then, initially the horse didn't run well, uh -huh. but suddenly he seemed to have clicked mm -hmm. when he went to St. Thomas. Yeah, well, um, I'd been around the track a couple of times and stuff, and the problem was he wasn't really walking out. He was going to the corner and then stopping and turning or whatever, but you look at Alex brought a jacket down, I really put some oof into it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask you. What, what makes a horse suddenly decide, okay, I'm ready to run now? Well, it could be a lot of things. There's a new atmosphere, there's new surroundings, there's all kind of different things, a new handler, everything. So, you know I mean? Probably just getting used to the place. Some horses have a mind of their own, they do what they want. So, that, that is nothing too scary. You know what right. I mean? He came here fit, so he didn't really need much, much work, as you can see. And also, the little bit where he get put in, imagine next year if he stay on his feet good, could be a beast. <laughs> well, funny you should mention that he should be a beast. I want to come to that, but mm -hmm. what I'm going to do it is we had we spoke to the jockey, and I also spoke to Alex and his mom, mm -hmm. and I think the producer be able to pull those interviews up for me. Let's have a look at those interviews. Alex, the big talk is my pal Sean. Now, I've always said to be the best. You gotta beat the best. I believe you are the best. Talk to me. Well, I believe I have it too, and I'll just have to prove it when my when I get my fair chance. I don't want to start calling names, but I have always been wanting to be fair when I see a horse. I saw your horse point in St. Thomas, I was impressed, and he proved his point here. Are they going to come after you? What's their, what's their plans? Well, I'm waiting um, on a couple of the top horses. St. Moose is in St. Croix. Dominica is uh, making a comeback. I'm not sure exactly when that will be. And, um, well, that's about it. Those are the only two that I think is contenders right now. I agree with you, but I have to say, Class is class. You, you got it this time. You got it right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
great run here. My pal Sean, tell us what you thought of the quality of the horse and the race. He's a nice horse. Unfortunately, he didn't break that good. He didn't really seem like he wanted to get into the race early. But I never panic, you know. I, I knew I had a lot. I knew I had the best horse in the race. I came out here for that reason to ride the best horse in the race, and he proved it today. He didn't get the trip he wanted, but you know we worked together as a team, and Sean's the man. Quickly on the back stretch, you began to kind of um, change gear with him. What were your thoughts as you came on that back? Well, stretch? because I could see that those guys they were trying to play games with me, trying to carry me out, and it, it, Sean was just such a professional. He didn't panic, you know. He got around the first turn a little wider than he wanted to. But I knew I had a ton of horse left. That's why I just kind of wanted to urge him on early and make sure we finished strong together. Quickly, tell us what you thought about our track today and, and, and generally speaking. Of it's a great surface. And the one thing that I really do appreciate is how much people love it. It's hard to find that sometimes at home. You can tell people really love the sport. They love the animal. And that's the best part of it. Where's back home? Uh, for me, it's Florida right now. Florida. Okay, good job. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank race so it much. again today. I have one more the next race. Trading secrets. Okay, good job. Thank you so much. How are you, my dear? Fine, thanks, and you? I am extremely well. Good. Tell us about your pal Sean. <laughs> my pal Sean. Well, I was just telling these guys that God bless us with this horse. When he came first, they used to make fun of us and say he stop and go because he wasn't um, getting climatized to the track. He was going around the track, not completely, but he is finding himself now. Would you say now that you guys have finally found the horse that family affairs have been looking for for so long? Yes, I would say that. Yes, I would definitely say that. And certainly he's shown that he's of high quality. I'm sure you'd agree with that as well. Yes, I agree with that as well. What would you want to see next for your pal Sean? <laughs> Just that he continue to perform and take us to the winner's circle. <laughs> Well, yeah, the moose. Well, well, let's see. Well, she she said it as a, well. We heard it over here. A challenge from the moose, but from the horse's mouth, from the pal's, from the pal's mouth, she says as long as he continues doing his best. Well, there you heard it for yourself. For those of you who are watching, and 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 Akeem, you mentioned it, and I wanted to run the interview because they actually reiterated what you were saying. Two things that you mentioned that he is a beast. He's yeah. proven himself to already be a force to be reckoned with. Yes. Yeah. And also, so let's talk a bit about that and then come to the point that a jockey made. A jockey said he seemed to have a mind of his own. Yeah, um, let's talk a bit about that. Well, um, I'm a force big up Alex and Family Affairs table because really and truly, I believe, this is my personal opinion, you can kind of see he's not really a sprinter. You know what I mean? He came here, he run two sprints, and that kind of altered his domain. You can see how he built and how he runs. He ain't really swift out the gate and stuff. He ain't really a sprinter. So, St. Moose, when you come to that mile and mile and 70 yards, and with the St. Moose and the Domecos, now that go, that's going to be where the real talk begins there. You know what I mean? This race here is show that he's class and he could do anything, but we'll see later down why it is he really built for. You know what I mean? So, so you, for you, you are thinking that the, the real test of the horse is when he gets beyond a mile. Yeah, and I believe he's going to like it too. You know what I mean? So, I don't think it's like nothing out of his domain because he run a nice mile in St. Thomas too so he is in his that's why he's here to run for you know what I mean he, he did beat Domeka already in the States too so you know what I mean he, he come here with good credentials as you say and he, he I don't think he come here to run no 6 four long all the time I think those guys would agree he ain't come here to run no 6 four long sprinting and all that right now but I, I, I noticed the talk is all about well said moose mm -hmm. because um, we, we're not too sure the, the, the state of Apollo Sky, there's and been Dominica. no talk at the, yeah. about Apollo Sky of later, mm -hmm. in fact. And Domeka is still trying to mend, I mean, yeah, so, you yeah. know. So it seems as if really the talk is of, 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 of my pal Sean mm -hmm. and coming up against uh, the Moose, yeah. who has been on the loose. Well, it's, it's unfortunate for Alex because I'll um, go back to Town Hall. When Town Hall was on the top of his game, Upton was like coming back off an injury and whatnot. So he hasn't got to claim and stamp that A praise how he wants to be. You know what I mean? Because it's not his fault to make an Apollo and whatever down. You know what I mean? But right now, that's what the fans would like. The fans would like to see a gate with Apollo Sky and him in a seven. That'll be my dream race. <laughs> <laughs> see, Dominica, the moose and him in a mile. But it, they're down right now. So what can you do? Just beat up on who here now <laughs> and then wait till they come, you know? Well, what I would say though, and again, like you said, it's your personal thing. Mm. Personally, Having seen this horse run at a six and a half furlong, uh -huh. it is my personal feeling, the family fair stable, I hope you all are listening, because I've been tough on their stables uh -huh. in the past, that they have found the horse to beat. 
And I and you know it's, I have been tough on saying that. Yeah. But I think that this is a genuine horse that if he were to meet Domeka, Apollo Sky and the Moose in a race, mm. I would go for my pal My pal yeah. I like I like the horse. I, yeah. for the first time I saw him, I, I liked how he looked. He looks nice. Yes, yes. He's yes. strong. He just looks well, the part, and I just feel that that finally family affair found the horse. Well, for. that that's family affair on a whole. Family affair on a presentation ways, them and the boys and L and B have. When it comes to looks, yes, yeah, second. When it come, they always have their horses mm -hmm. top of line. You know what I mean? So the looks part, I ain't even worrying about. Cause they always gonna look good. But when it comes to the run, he already proved himself that he could go. You know what I mean? He, he ain't there because, okay, I run a big class house, I'm going to beat him by two lengths. He's stretching out on them. And that's what I really like about it. And he's getting in that walk. So when those other horses come, he's on the top of his game. You know, so that's what I really like about it. Well, you know, through the years, and as you know, I've been around a little while, mm -hmm. watching sports. And when I was a young man, uh -huh. the team I used to love to interview in basketball were the A's. Uh -huh. Because guys like 88 when he was young, and mm -hmm. so they're always keen to come and give an interview and what have you. Mm -hmm. And the Blue Wings in the 1990s and the mm -hmm. early two, 2000s, there was, there was always, uh, you know, um, they were always willing to come and give you an interview. Yeah. You know, so um, Killer Case Malone would always come up and, you know, in, yeah. in those early days. And I said that to say that, Family affair mm -hmm. are always keen to come and give an interview. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. for me, I am just really, really happy to see that they have found okay. a pal that is doing really well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, they're, they're they're nice tables. Yeah. I love the the personal approach that Alice takes with horses. I mean, I I, I see him doing it with all horses he has. Mm. He comes out and he babies these yeah. horses. He yeah. really, really does. Yeah. Well, you can always tell the top of the line stables around. I, I must say. Alex is one of them who always does his work. But I, I just, as I said, I had to feel a little bad for him because he yeah. ain't get that breakthrough like how we, I think he deserves. He has yeah, some yeah. really nice horses. Training secrets for a nice horse, but you just see he wasn't going to make it. To me, Training Secrets is a nice tester. Yes. Like everybody going to be an A-class horse, yeah, but you know yeah. if you beat Training Secrets, yeah. you're in an A-class. You know what I mean? That's a really good tester. Correct. He ain't no slouch. Training Secrets will come with his A-game yeah. every race. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was, I was I was kind of getting in the middle. I was so excited. Yeah. That one. <laughs> but but you're correct. For if I if I owned the horse, I would mm -hmm. want to run it against Trading Secrets to, to see if where he you was, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. exactly. That's that's where he is. But He's... now with my pal Sean, it's a whole different ball yes. game. Yes. Now with my pal Sean, you got to race Trading Secrets to get yeah, exactly. to my pal Sean. Exactly. And as I say, is is a bad thing that he is a A class horse. My pal Sean is our A-class horse. But the thing is, you have no A-class horses right now running against him, except probably St. Moose, you know, which might be a little, because Domeka is down. St. Thomas don't really have an A-class horse. Let's be real about but it. But they haven't for quite and, a while. Yeah, and Apollo Sky, you know what I mean? So those are down. So he's who's running the stream right now. So he, I like how he just annihilating everybody right now. Don't play and, with him. And, that, <laughs> and, and I remember when Randy Knight was forced to go and shop. Yeah. When everybody was, when Rodney was forced to go and shop, uh, when um, when LMB was forced to go and shop, yeah. and I think that let's give my pal Sean his kudos. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's here. He has proven himself. You want to beat my pal Sean? They shop. You go and shop too. Mm. And I'm going to give my pal Sean his kudos. And I believe over the next year or two, he's gonna take yeah. complete control of this track of. St. Thomas track and other St. Croix track. Yeah. There's no I, doubt in my mind. I agree, I agree. He's a very, very nice house. But as now, we, I'm going to talk as a fan. Sure. <laughs> as a fan right now, I want to see him in a race where as in is a competition. You know what I mean? Every To me, every race he went in so far, it was like, you know he's going to win. You know what I mean? It's just how much he's going to win by. I like how he call out the most because that's competition now. Domeka coming back, Apollo Sky coming back, that's competition. You know, so... I want to see when he butt up against them. And then when you talk to me after he beat them, I have no nissy at all. You know what I mean? And the, the thing I like about my pal Sean is that he hasn't swayed away from anyone. Yes, he ain't coming. <laughs> he has he said Saint Thomas here, well, everything. Yeah. When I asked Alex, when I've asked Patsy, when I asked, when I spoke to the trainers, they all said the same thing. Bring him on. Bring, yep. bring, you, you want to run against me? They bring the horse. Coming. They, they, are, they haven't stuttered. They haven't, you know, they've said, bring, bring, bring your horse. You Definitely. got one? Bring him. Definitely. And I so agree. therefore they have been they've been ready. They've been yeah. ready and, and ready to yeah, play ball. I, I like that about them. They they don't they're not backing down from 
anybody like that. Because I said, to me, this race was kind of in the favor of others. We all know Roll Up is a sprinter. We all know that's what Starship Titan does. So he went in their domain, you know what I mean? He beat them because really and truly, if they had run a mile with him. I ain't waiting, sir. Fisher's Cove so Beach that, Hotel that presents that the coronation of his majesty. Okay, Positive really vibration can come come for me when I ask Fisher's you know, Cove Beach so Hotel really presents. Like him for real. What do you think um, has made this horse suddenly decide that, and it's a, it's a little bit of a tough question, but just having a look at the horse mm -hmm. and seeing him run, because the jockey said he has a mind of his own. Uh, why, why do you think my pal son just suddenly decided, okay, now is the time I'm okay, I'm ready to run. Ready to, well, some horses like to get in a little bit. Some horses like to feel a little dirt in the face. They like to feel a crack of the whip. You know what I mean? You never really know what it is, but he, to me, he a little slow to the game, you know what I mean? And I don't think it's that he in there loafing. I just believe it's that he's more of a distance horse, you know what I mean? If you notice, on the back stretch you now, when the jackie said, let's go, gear. You understand? He goes, shift, let's go. So in, I like that. In fact, when he spoke to the jockey, that was the comment that the jockey mm -hmm. made, that he was a little lazy out Over of the, the gate. Gates. Yes. And if you notice, he was back by about two and a half horse lengths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he kind of like... The horse didn't seem to, to panic, and yeah. I noticed that the jockey kept on saying, we ran as a team, yeah. mm -hmm. as if, well, he was kind of like feeling that the horse wasn't ready yet, and he, he felt, he said, I knew we were going to win it, because yeah. I could just feel that the horse was just yeah. biding his time. Well, it has to feel good to be on a remote control horse, because really, he said, the other horses were trying to push him out, and he decided, well, let's go now, and he got a response he wanted, you know, other horses, you know, more to ask, and... He had a push button horse, let's face the fact. So as soon as he asked a question, the horse took off, the race was done on the back shirt. But I and that's the point I was just about to make, mm. Akeem, that I can always tell a quality horse that can yeah. leave you on the back stretch uh, and beat you by eight horses. Yeah. That's a quality horse. Yeah. Yep. No, and he, yeah. he did, did it twice back to back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the jockey wasn't beating him, yeah. he wasn't hammering him. He was just cruising. Yeah, he convinced me. He really convinced me because his first race, I was like a little iffy, you know, because the horses went wide, he went up on the inside. So it's like you always want to see him again. Now the mile, me and my co worker, we always have a little thing about what. So St. Thomas, now I say, okay, the mile have been a better race. I had to give her, you know, her props. I say, why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? You defend St. Thomas because I didn't expect that. I expected him to win. I expect him to win a length or two lengths. Mm -hmm. He went down in, in wraps, you yeah. know what I mean? So it was in, impressive to come back again and do the same now. Let's face it, he top of the line right now. <laughs> well, for those of you who are wondering, USVI, the Izzles are back. <laughs> and they're back in a big way. Mm -hmm. Top of the line, my pal Sean is mm -hmm. here and is here to stay. Yes. So keep your eye on that horse. He's big and he's a lovely horse he's and he's nice. running great. Mm -hmm. Just quickly to let you know that... Um, Carl Scatliff has asked for those who are interested in netball, they're going to be meeting this coming Saturday, that's the 10th of October. They're going to be meeting in Longbush at the netball grounds on, on Saturday 10th. Um, he didn't say what time. Yeah. So Carl, if you could let, but contact Mr. Carl Scatliff um, and he will tell you the time, but I, I, I presume they'll meet sometime on Saturday, but he wants you to meet with him on Saturday. And also, in November, get ready guys, over 40s basketball is going to be um, back up and running again. Yeah. So, um, you know, basketball over 40s, guys get ready, netball ladies, find Carl, because this Saturday he wants to meet with you mm -hmm. at the Longwash Netball Court. Yeah. Finally from you, my pal. Well, my pal did his thing. I want to big up all the winners and all the contestants and stuff race. Yeah, bye, 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 did his thing. Um, the mayor for LMB, she really went on against trading secrets. So, yes. you know, she's, <laughs> she's top of the line. Wasi brought in some new houses. He did his thing and mileage won a race too. So, congratulations to all the winners and everything there, you know. And, of course, again, okay, no, uh, there you go. Now, the other the other stables are complaining. We didn't talk about them. But, you know, no, no, no family affair <laughs> getting their own back. Yes. No, they're getting a the talk for a change. Yes. So, you know, there was, now you can see we've been actually been really, really fair. Because this time, it's all about... My pal Sean. <laughs> so until next week, your pal Paul on the ball, along with Akeem, good sports in <laughs> you. Have a great weekend. <laughs>